Hi guys, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to bleach a sweatshirt for Christmas. This is one of my popular designs. It's very simple and it's very easy. It doesn't take too much work. First off, we're going to start with a Walmart Time and True sweatshirt. These particular ones are $7.88. They're usually on a shelf in boxes along with sweatpants that match them. So it just kind of help you guys find where they are. I did have a little bit of trouble trying to find more of these red ones in particular in my area, but you might have better luck than I did. So one of the things we're going to need is bleach. I usually put mine in old spray bottles. Eventually the bleach will eat, through the, eat the bottle up, so you may have to change these every once in a while. But one of the most important things to do is do not use old bleach when doing your sweatshirts. I learned that the hard way. Bleach does go bad. So try to use um, good fresh bleach. I just bought the uh, Dollar General brand and it works perfectly. You don't need to spend a lot of money and also don't do the splashless. Another thing we're going to need is hydrogen peroxide. I actually have mine in a peroxide spray bottle so there's no confusion. You can usually find these in with the regular bottles and then I just refill it as needed. And then this is going to be our sub that's going to go on our sweatshirt once it's bleached. I got this particular design at Red Rocks Designs. I'll post the link in the description where you can purchase this file. And last but not least, what a lot of people have been asking me is how do I do the flowers? I actually use these rubber vinyl placemats. Usually you can find them in the seasonal sections like the, for Christmas, where all the Christmas decorations and stuff are, or you can find them in the kitchen stuff with the regular placemats. Um, these ones I actually bought at Ross. I have two different designs. One of the main reasons why I like using these is because they're reusable. Once I'm done, I just wash them off and they're good to go for another one. So first what we're going to do with all this is I'm going to lay my vinyl designs where I would like them. And just like that. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. got our, our vinyl place stands where we like them. We're going to go ahead and take our spray bottle and we're just going to lightly mist the design. And I do my candy cane lines. I just slowly squeeze the bottle and run it down the area a couple times. I'm going to give you a nice candy cane stripe. All right, and as for the section of our where our is gonna go, I usually take mine and kind of measure out where I'm gonna put it, just so I can bleach just that particular spot. And then all you gotta do now is play the waiting game and let it sit while it bleaches. Alright guys, now that you can see after our bleach is sitting in here for maybe about 5 to 10 minutes, it's gotten pretty white. These sweatshirts do generally bleach really well and like I said, it's very important that you use a fresher bleach to help you out. But now that it has changed to white and we don't want it to, the bleach to do anything else, we're going to go ahead and take our peroxide and we're going to spray our bleach areas. What this does is neutralizes the bleach so it won't eat the fabric. And now that we have our, our bleach sprayed and neutralized, what we're going to do is we're actually going to toss this in the washer and run it on a cold cycle to help rinse out any extra bleach. And then we're going to go ahead and dry it before we sew. 